I just wanted to make some black music to be honest like I wanted to do all kinds of hip-hop and neo soul R&B soul music you know things that I love that were also influenced or created as a result of jazz music it's just music of living and past um, african-american composers um, and so that means a lot of things but it's more modern music hence the name of the class modern afro pop you know so I'm bringing in things like there's a tune by Esperanza Spaulding that I kind of consider to be our anthem. It's entitled Black Gold and it's basically a story to young black boys telling them you are you are a force, you are you are something special and that sacred. Was really beautiful to start with. Really, really, really One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your head as high as you can. I can love to see who you are. What just happened? Play that. Oh, you need to hear it again? Okay, play it back. All right, do it this time. You know, it's a very like, we're doing it all orally. And that's a really important part of the tradition in my opinion, you know, developing your ears rather than just being handed music. And then, you know, okay, now be soulful with this. It's like, we have a reference point. We hear that soul and it's the idea of like, you know, get kind of getting that soul into them. <laughs> Cornish or Hermeto Pascual Ensemble, which is a, an ensemble of music dedicated to the music of the composer, multi-instrumentalist, and amazing musical personality, Hermeto Pascual. I'm very fortunate because I got to work with Hermeto for 15 years straight, like every day. For, that was my musical school, uh, working with him six hours a day, five days a week during 15 years. So every time I see him, he gives me another book of like, scores that he's written. So right here, I am taking part on this amazing opportunity to take our students and show them a little bit of what we can do in a semester of 15 weeks about this immense work. <laughs>
That's the whole thing. So remember, after the solos, we go right back to the bridge, and then we do it from the top of the form, not the half of the form. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do the other lead portion up front, Max. You and me all. And then when I when I resolve, da 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 da, and then da da, start the groove. Right there. Don't wait for my resolution. Just do the piano, piano, and, and the flute intro. Okay. And I'm really choosing it according to the to the capabilities and the musicality of the students. And you hear that they are very talented in what they do, and I'm also challenging them to things that they're not used to doing, like singing words that have no apparent meaning, or playing with pots and pans with stones inside, or playing goat bells or whistles, because all that is part of the universe of Romantic music, because it's absolutely not bound by any kind of stylistic constraints. You cannot call it jazz, but you can call it jazz. <laughs> you cannot call it classical, but you can call it classical. You cannot call it Brazilian, but it's also Brazilian. It's all a matter of how you decode and how you introduce the people. Because it's very easy for a metal music, given the level of complexity that it has, for you to be overwhelmed and be scared. Because, oh, you know, that's like, oh my God, that's like those chords are like spiders. You know? And it's too much, it's too complex, too complicated. He says, yeah, but listen to this lullaby. Or listen to this folk tune, listen to this uh, gorgeous two chord songs, a one chord song and how it builds up. If you want to learn Hermetos music, it doesn't matter how much you play, how much you don't play, how much you have studied, how much you have not studied. We will find a point of entry, and from that point of entry, how far you go, how deep you go, depends only on your willingness. So we're playing music has never been performed anywhere. And my goal is to really create the whole body of work and just pass it on.